Oh, hello, wife. Snow Yeti wife. <laughs> You're looking larger than usual. At least it still has tits. That way you know. You just call your wife large, because that's going to make you sleep on that nasty couch. I wonder Oops. what the weak point is. Yeah. I going to say, how do you feel about weak points? Oh, my tummy. Why'd you shoot me there, husband? Hi. Oh, no. So this is kind of spoilery, but this is what? Just the end of... uh. Resident Evil 7? Yeah. Basically. Because I think that thing had weak points too. Oh yeah. And it had like a... It was like a real big grotesque monster. Yeah, outside the house. Oh she Oops. <laughs> Walked right into that one. Let me just uh, dust myself off here. We should play that Resi 7. I would like to. I still haven't actually played it. You haven't played it yet? No, I've, I've still only just played the like the demos. Oh, we should definitely, after the things that we have planned, that should be next. <laughs> I'd be down to do that. Especially since now we can get like a... Probably get like a Game of the Year version that has all the DLC in it too. I gotta think. Or at least it'll be like coming out soon if it isn't already. You're gonna... You're gonna... Get the VR too. <laughs> I wish. That would be fun. I think that'd be scary as fuck. Probably. <laughs> Ow. That sucks is that to use the shotgun, I gotta get way up in here. That's tough to do. Ow. Stop it. There we go. Pop that one. Oh, what? That baby's coming out. Oh! Oh shit, spiders! Yeah, I don't like them. This is how you get your ammo back. Oh, they got little faces on them. I didn't make, recognize that before. Now she's got weak points on her shoulders. That seems that seems way harder because it's not like the top of the shoulders; it's the back of the shoulders. Yeah, you really have to wait for her to do that little swipe. I don't think you can get him when she's just kind of upright like that. Holy fuck, those take a beating. Oh, bye-bye to that arm. I'm gonna get you. Get a oh, it's, oh, it's coming right for me. I don't wanna do this. Yeah, this part was, is where I can get a little tough. As much as I hate this game, she is kind of a cool model right now, though. Yeah, like, I like the design of it. It is very Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Stop that. Just go back to your pattern. So I can shoot your weak spot back here. So I can get... Oh, ammo, don't hit me with it. No! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, it didn't do, like, a huge amount of damage, so I'm not too worried. I swear this arena was bigger the last time I did this. There we go, that's what I want to see. Oh, you gotta leave it down longer. Oh good, I can use the syringe on the run, that's nice. Whoa! Fuck, reload, come on. Uh. Fucking pistol, there we go. Now she's got one in her disgusting head. Oh god. Let's give me some ammo for some of this stuff. Oh, easy now. <laughs> I'm walking here. Oof. Oh, that one went down quick. Oh, my face. What did you do to it? Oh. Look out! Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> She's like, let's have a tickle fight. You and me. One last time. No, oh, she's... <laughs> she's turning into Melt Man. With the power to... Melt! Go 
poopy wife. My wife was milk? No. How could it be? It'd be terrible to wade through that much milk. <laughs> Ugh. Can you imagine the smell? Well, it's cold out, so it probably wouldn't have curdled yet, so it could be okay. Ugh. My sweet milk wife. Let me rub my bloody stump hand on you. <laughs> Miraculously not leave any blood on her face. If you do, you just dip her in the milk. I didn't want to. I, d I didn't want to have to shoot you in the head, but you made me. I couldn't control myself. There's just some oddly realistic teeth on that woman. <laughs> leave me. No, I won't leave you again. You have to. You have to, because my legs are broke. I can't walk. You crippled me. <laughs> Go. You shot parts of me off. You shot parts of me off, and the only way to keep bone strong is milk. <laughs> her, her whole character design is just a metaphor for milk. Here we are, chapter 17. Oh, thank Christ. It's the very end. So close. He's got to do some stupid, pointless climbing. Had to turn this into a platformer. It's <laughs> if you truly want to save your daughter, first you must make this gap. Ooh, scene transition. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit's going haywire over here at Mobius HQ. Mr. G-Man, we've re-established contact. We found him. He's right here in the center of everything. Too valuable to abandon. I actually saw like a side-by-side <clears throat> -side comparison of this dude and the the G-Man from Half-Life. Pretty close. Yeah, it's like it's spot on. This is Half-Life 3. This is what we all wanted. Did you hear me? Yeah, I did. See, there was that weird shit where he's talking with his right hand all flipping and flopping it around. He's basically saying, once you pull him out of STEM, we're just gonna fucking kill him. He signed his death her name is Kidman, why do you keep calling her Kid? Because he, he thinks it's like a cute pet name. He's trying to be... romantic? It looks like Don Draper. Yeah, kinda. It's like, he had a weird baby with the G-Man. She's gone rogue! I thought she was gonna curve the bullet, I thought this was wanted. <laughs> she looks like she would fit in with the other characters in Wanted, so it would make sense. Right? She looks like the chick from the Matrix, too, so... Now we get to play as Kidman. This is just artificial padding. Because they know that the game was over. Pretty much, yeah. But the game was over. We just had to go to Lily's room. We were <laughs> done. But we have to do Kidman story. We have to do this Thanks cool, like... Christ. Go to the room, quickly. <laughs> We have to do this cool back and forth. Otherwise, how is anyone going to know what happens to Kid Man? Give us a shit. What <laughs> happened to the two people that we were hanging out with in the first game? <laughs> well, um... Joseph or Jeff or whatever his name is, he dead. And the other one, the, the albino? He got morphed with, um... With, uh, Ruvik. Where's Ruvik's q -bat? Just don't worry about it. <laughs> but where's the Rubik's Cube? But don't worry about it, though. <laughs> but he was a central character. <laughs> but we have to focus on not him for a full video game. What if David Cage made this game? It would probably be slightly better. I would have more of an emotional attachment to these characters. 
What if Sebastian was voiced by a French guy who can barely speak English? Go back to sleep. When you wake up. What if he was voiced by Lucas Kane? <laughs> what if it just was Lucas Kane? And that's the that's Jade. It looks like Jade. Yeah. It really does. Now that I think about it. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. Why is there? Oh. It's probably some weird baby picture, but I was going to say, why is there a picture of just feet on their entertainment center? Because people do that now. After the room put all them spoons in pictures. <laughs> so what if people go to midnight screenings of a Let's Play of Evil Within 2? They'll just start taking off their shoes and wriggling their feet around in the aisles? Sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> just like 200 people in a big theater just beat out in the house, just wiggling around. And woo it's like the world's biggest game of the hokey pokey. How'd she make it up the mountain? She could barely walk after all that milk. <laughs> and Cece drank it all up. She got big and strong. Is she Rubik's Cube? Let her forget how much her mother loved her. No. Are you I mean, sure? She, I mean, if she tried hard enough, she probably could be as threatening as him. I don't think Ruvik would ever do that to Sebastian. You don't know. Well, Sebastian's having a moment. This is where Myra is like, no, part of the plan that we hatched was that I stay here and destroy Stem from the inside. So Sebastian truly does end up alone, unless you count his daughter. Oh, good thing you ducked. And you know, like these segments where you play as Kidman, they're just like solo headshot, like shooting galleries. You barely get to move around or anything. It's like an on rail shooter. It's like one of my Japanese animes. I went the wrong way. Oh, clock's ticking, Kidman. You only have like 45 minutes before they cut through that door. Kidman, I've got her, but things are getting really bad. Where the fuck do I go? Help, help, help. I gotta get back to my office. <laughs> we can talk about this later in my office. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, made it. It's not too late to stop this kid. If you do, I promise. Quit calling me kid. I'm a man. <laughs> And he, he goes, Kid, what? What did you say? She's got some weird teeth. They all got these weird teeth. And yeah, they, they try to get really hyper realistic with the teeth. For no reason. There's a third choice. And that's fuck you. You're foolish. Whoa. <laughs> he got really, like, way too mad about that, too. Ah. No chip in me. No You'll, die today. One way <laughs> You'll die today. Here's my hands. <laughs> He's gotta quit wiggling that hand around. It's really fucking weird. You don't talk with your hands. It's called acting. I thought you were gonna say it's called Italian. Incoming message. Yo, well, server, shut down. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't open it in time. Wow, he's strong. Yeah, he's doing the Jordan pose. Just, yeah! <laughs> I can dunk! Lily, take a picture. Just get in there! Lily. Sebastian. I love you both. Bye. Now, you'll be safe. Goes in, what's on TV? <laughs> yeah. Just sits down on the couch. Hmm, it's a good night for some television. Just gotta. That's all you have to do is just press that. <laughs> just just said press any key to continue. Yeah, just hit enter. Just like that's fine. <laughs> Wait for it. Well, 
Well, that was easy. He's looking real bad. Because what they did to bring Mobius down from the inside was they hacked a virus into the system. And they... Because all the Mobius people have them chips in their head. And the virus basically made the chip explode. I need your help getting around. I got milk everywhere. <laughs> Don't look at me. I had an accident. Get my daughter out of that tube. Get her out of there. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Now, Sebastian, don't disconnect her too fast. It could mess with her memories. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Whoops. But you're awake now. But you're awake. And I'm awake. And everyone from Mobius is dead. She's like, who's Mobius? D don't worry about it. Moby, it's Moby's new record label. <laughs> They all died when they were working on Moby's new album. And she just goes, oh, that's sad, and falls asleep. Where's mom? <laughs> you have a family again, just you and me, and, and that's it. And roll credits. We out. All right. We finished Evil Within 2. It was slightly better than the first one. The first one was like wacky and weird and this one was like pretty straightforward and that's what made the first one was so much fun was so it was wacky and weird and there was so much of that negative space and this one had some but not like that last one. I think the like the main thing that they focused on and I have no way of actually verifying this because I don't know but I think the main thing that they focused on was making sure the story was more coherent because that was probably like the biggest like complaint from the first game yeah i can see that but at the same time it was like it was different they threw a bunch of stuff at you and that's what made it unique to me this was just like here's all the best parts from all those games you remember i'm going out on a record here i don't want a third one i didn't want a second one but i certainly don't want a third one yeah, I can share that sentiment. I sure as hell didn't want there to be a second one. I think we even went on record when we said that the first time that we weren't going to play the second one. <laughs> and yet here we are, watching the credits roll by. Look at this fresh young family man. How come he's not wearing his gray shirt that he got at PacSun? <laughs> really should be. He'd look a lot more fashionable. There's nothing there. Why is Kid Man staying? I don't know. She's, like, just going the other way, I guess? Because now watch if there is a third one. Like, it'll just be Kidman. Probably. Because Seabass is pretty much done. Yeah. Like they can just they can just leave Papa Seabass at this. It'll be wrapped up all nice. I think the bigger reveal right here is when they go over this hill, if they pass the sign that says entering Union or whatever, like that would have been a huge like here we go for the next one. That would yeah. have been great. How long has this been shut down? I know. All these fucking cobwebs and dust. And whose tube was that? Who knows? All questions will be left unanswered as we mysteriously lose funding for the third game. We said we was going to play it. We played it. We finished it. And now we can all forget about it forever. Do we end this the way that we ended the first one with deleting the footage? Oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Let's do that. Bye-bye. <laughs>